In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the five blocks in a game super fast and easy to get the free Ruby Wendell Carter Jr. in NBA 2K23. My team, I know a lot of people do struggle with getting blocks, especially that they have to be in one single game. If it was just over multiple games, that does make it a little bit easier. But I do understand that a lot of people do struggle with getting five blocks in a game. So in this video, like I said, I'm going to be showing you guys the best method and how to get it done super fast and easy in basically one single game. So what you guys want to do is go over to TTO offline, and then you want to pick the guy you want to go with the blocks for. Now, if you have a guy like Giannis, if you have a really good defender or a tall kind of small forward power forward that's probably who i'd recommend i mean for somebody like me i think even a guy like jimmy butler can probably get the job done so i'd go for jimmy butler and then the next two cards you want to go with are going to be kind of shorter point guards they don't have to be super short but just make sure you're picking point guards so gold john wall and then we'll probably pick like maybe another small point guard like a kyle lowry so you can go with something like this right jimmy butler we'll, i'll show you guys what to do once we get in the game but run a lineup like this whoever you want to go with the blocks for and then two gold point guards so as you guys can see the lineup we're going to match against we're going to go up against two smaller point guards jose alvarado and i think it was tyus jones so those are going to be two point guards that we should be able to get blocks with super easy and what you guys want to do is a switch now i'm going to explain how to a switch on the next possession but that's what you guys want to do it's going to be called an a switch like i said i'll explain on the next possession offensively doesn't really matter go get your buckets so to x switch or to a switch whatever console you're on so if you're on xbox it's going to be called the a switch the a button and if you're on ps5 or ps4 it's going to be the x button to a switch or x switch i'm just gonna call it a, a switch but it's the same thing on ps it's just gonna be called the x switch so for a switching what you guys want to do is take the person you want to get the blocks with so for example you want to go with jimmy butler right you want to get the blocks with jimmy you want to run up to the point guard who's going to get the ball off the inbound and you want to hold down a right so i'll show you guys what to do you're going to take jimmy butler run up to the guy you want to switch on to and you're going to hold the button a and it's going to switch you on to that player and i'll show you guys what to do to get the block so actually showing you guys how to a switch which what, what you guys want to do is run up to the point guard you think going to get the ball so it's going to be tyus jones right here you're going to a switch by holding down a and then you're going to let him run to the basket but stay on his hip sometimes they'll do that pass there which is a little bit annoying you do have to watch for that backdoor pass because that's how they're going to score a lot of their points but yeah so on offense run to the rim right get your layups to go you just want to make sure you're scoring the ball because then they actually have to inbound so what you can do is right pick what point guard you think they're going to go to they're going to go to him so i'm going to a switch onto tyus jones and i want to let him run to the basket right what they're going to do though is a lot of times is they're going to do that pass right there or they're going to try to throw it inside and kind of throw on the back door we can also jump here maybe go for the block so obviously the the best way is to be doing the a switch method but obviously you can still get blocks in other scenarios doesn't always have to be off a switching but that's going to be probably the main way to get the blocks so so far we already have two on the game right so we're going to let ty jones run to the basket let him run to the basket and then last second we're going to go for the jump so i actually missed time that there i let him run to the rim perfectly i gave him enough space and then i jumped too early so it does take a little bit of practice to get used to even me who i've been doing this for like multiple years in 2k it's definitely taking me still a little bit time to get used to and it really just comes down to your timing so you want to let him run to the basket right like i said stay on his hip stay on his hip and then last second go for the block and a lot of times you will get the block in that scenario so what you want to do is let him run to the basket and then last second you want to go for the block and right there we do have three out of five right so you can see we already have three out of five we're getting super close to that five mark i actually didn't show you guys the first block i just got a block in open play but i wasn't actually commentating so like i said we're gonna let him run to the basket let him run to the rim let him go all the way let him get to the bucket and then we're gonna go for the block and you guys can see right there that is going to be number four and we are just now one block away from completing the challenge and this has honestly been super easy to do so if you guys have any trouble with it you guys can obviously let me know down below ask any questions and i'll do my best to explain but yeah like i said let him run to the basket and then last second go for the block and you guys can see right there i'm pretty sure that's going to be number five and we still have a lot of time left in the game five blocks with jimmy butler like i said there's a bunch of different guys you can use you can go for a guy like Giannis if you want some more length you can go for maybe even a center a guy like Kareem. you just want somebody athletic with a high block rating a guy like jimmy butler he's who's even a shooting guard is going to work as well because he does have a good block rating and he gets some good defensive animation so let me know in the comment section down below if you guys are still struggling with this a little bit i can give you guys some more pointers i'm able to show you guys one more possession because i've only showed you guys four blocks with the a switch method like i said that first block i didn't show you guys but it was just an open play my opponent just kind of went to the rim and kind of like this and i kind of just blocked him like this so i didn't really show that but i'll show you guys all my a switch methods so i'll show you guys one more a switch just to get five blocks with the a switch method but yeah like i said on offense just get to the rim right you want to try to score the ball as much as possible because it just makes it easier you know to kind of get the block off the inbound so like i said you want to hold down a onto the point guard and it's going to switch you now onto jose alvarado you want to let him go to the rim let him go to the rim and then last second go for the block and you guys can see right there and that is going to be number six this is also going to work for pretty much every single block challenge in the game whether you need to get seven blocks nine blocks in a game ten blocks three blocks you just want to do this method it's going to be the fastest and the easiest so if this video did help you guys out make sure you drop a like and sub down below it really helps out the channel and hopefully and hopefully i get 
could help you guys with this challenge out but let me know if you guys have any uh, any struggles with it and comment down below any questions and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace